The Last Ronin is a comic book masterpiece that totally changed the game for the entire TMNT franchise. It strikes an amazing balance between the fun side of TMNT and some of the most horrifying TMNT stories ever told, leaving every TMNT fan and even those not previously fans with their mouths open after reading that stuff. Obviously, it was a massive success on the industry level, attracting people who don't even follow comic books to read these astonishing comics. But when TMNT, The Last Ronin, was announced at the THQ Nordic 2023 showcase, it blew everybody's mind because nobody saw it coming. Now, with a story that has critical acclaim behind it, comes a baggage of over-expectations. And we are going to explore what we know about the game so far, and how the game is expected to pan out according to what we think. Before we dive into the details of today's topic, please show us some support by liking and subscribing. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Let's begin. Who is making this game? The Last Ronin was crafted by the legendary minds of TMNT's original creators, Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, with the creative firepower of Tom Waltz, Ben Bishop, and the Escorza brothers Isaac and Esau. This isn't just another title in the franchise's storied history. Enter Black Forest Games, the wizards behind the curtain tasked with bringing The Last Ronin to life in a video game format. This isn't your typical TMNT venture. We're talking about a leap into the AAA big leagues, a first for the franchise. Previous TMNT games? Sure, they've had their charm, catering to the younger crowd with a sprinkle of nostalgia for the rest of us, but let's be real, they've never been backed by the heavyweight budget this bad boy's flaunting. With the original duo, Eastman and Laird, throwing their weight behind Black Forest games, there's a palpable sense of anticipation crackling in the air. This game is poised to etch its name into TMNT lore, delivering a gaming experience that's been long overdue. And why is the hype train chugging along at full steam? Because The Last Ronin doesn't just tread dark waters, it dives head first into them, promising a narrative depth and maturity that's bound to captivate not just the diehard fans, but also a broader audience craving substance. But this is where my concern lies. If you check the other games created by Black Forest Games, you'll notice they have a very kiddish touch to them. They're not known for creating dark and gritty games. I'm not saying that this game needs to be solely gritty, adult, mature, and dark. It's about TMNT after all, so there will be comic relief. However, the visuals shouldn't be overly cartoonish. It needs to convey a sense of realistic dread that was thoroughly present in the original comic book, balancing the sense of loss and grief with brief moments of light comedy elements for relief. For example, the most popular game created by Black Forest is the Destroy All Humans remake, and if you look at that game, you'll realize that, while it's a good game, it's not particularly dark and gritty. The visuals are very cartoony and childlike, and if you go a bit further back, you'll find games like Gianna Sisters and Bubsy, which all have a very childish appearance. But then my memory recalled another game, Fade to Silence, by Black Forest, a third-person action survival game where you face eldritch monstrosity in a grim, snow-covered landscape. That kind of made me feel that I now understand why Nickelodeon chose this studio. The character movement was heavy and responsive, but the combat is bland. Yet that can be compensated if the story allows the character to jump and move like a ninja. This made me a bit more optimistic about the game, but then again, Fade to Silence was not a great game. It had massive bugs and glitches, plus the entire game becomes extremely boring after three hours in it. Black Forest Games has an amazing chance to make a dent in the gaming world. TMNT, The Last Ronin is a massive franchise. If they can get it right, they will become a big name in the industry overnight. What is the story of The Last Ronin? In The Last Ronin, players are thrust into a dystopian future where Michelangelo, the last surviving member of his mutant kin, embarks on a quest fueled by vengeance. Wielding the armaments of his perished brothers, Mikey navigates the ruins of New York City, determined to dismantle the Foot Clan once and for all. This narrative positions Michelangelo, traditionally the most lighthearted of the quartet, in a role that blends his inherent humor with the grim backdrop of a world gone to ruin. This juxtaposition promises to offer players a narrative depth uncommon in previous adaptations. However, 
given the weight of his losses, this portrayal of Michelangelo might diverge significantly from his classic persona. The scars of his experiences could temper his jovial nature, presenting a more nuanced and perhaps somber character than fans are accustomed to. As the story unfolds, it remains to be seen how these elements will coalesce within the game. For those eager to delve deeper into this rich narrative tapestry, the comic series offers a comprehensive exploration of Michelangelo's Odyssey. There's also a prequel that reveals how Mikey becomes the last Ronin, and the events that transformed him into a ruthless killer, a stark departure from the most jovial character in the entire TMNT-verse. The game developers have the opportunity to utilize some of these elements to provide a more comprehensive storytelling experience, See, the source material is fantastic. It's up to the game creators to make a fantastic game out of it. How is the gameplay going to be? We just have a short no gameplay trailer for The Last Ronin, which pretty much shows nothing. But as a fan of both Last Ronin and TMNT in general, I would expect a narrative faithful to the original The Last Ronin comic series, where players hope to experience the gritty, dark, and emotionally charged journey of the last surviving turtle. The game is anticipated to offer a deep dive into the story's lore, possibly through a mix of missions that allow players to relive key moments from each turtle's perspective, culminating in a climactic, seemingly unwinnable mission that stays true to the narrative's essence. But if you ask us, be it movement, parkour, or combat, it cannot be sluggish and lame. They are Ninja Turtles, after all, Creators need to make the action fast-paced and strategic. They could definitely draw inspiration from the combat system of the Ninja Gaiden games. Imagine a game where the stealth and agility of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are brought to life with the intensity and precision of Ninja Gaiden's combat system. Fans would likely expect a game that challenges their skills while immersing them in the rich, dark storyline of The Last Ronin. There's a clear desire for a game that not only pays homage to the TMNT franchise, but also elevates the gameplay experience with complex, rewarding combat mechanics. The integration of a Ninja Gaiden-esque combat system would mean fast-paced action, precise controls, and a steep learning curve that rewards mastery and strategic thinking. Personally, I yearn for a robust, nuanced combat system that goes beyond traditional beat-em-up styles, focusing instead on a more sophisticated, possibly character-specific system. This system would ideally strike a balance between honoring Michelangelo's unique fighting style and incorporating the distinct combat skills of his brothers, thereby offering a rich, varied gameplay experience. Inspirations drawn from titles like Ghost of Tsushima for its flashback sequences and a cyberpunk-esque world, minus the glitches, are among the aesthetic aspirations. This approach would not only bring the game's world to life in vivid detail, but also align it with the thematic depth and complexity of the last Ronin story. Narrative depth is another critical aspect, with hopes that the game will explore psychological horror elements to deepen the emotional impact. Incorporating psychological struggles, witnessing the loss of brothers, and facing formidable foes are aspects fans are eager to see, potentially offering a fresh take on the TMNT saga that emphasizes storytelling and character development. Lastly, the inclusion of iconic mutants and characters in meaningful ways, enhancing the narrative and providing memorable boss fights, is highly anticipated. This approach would not only pay homage to the TMNT universe, but also enrich the game's world, making it a multifaceted experience that goes beyond mere combat to include exploration, puzzle-solving, and story-driven quests. But this is too much wishful thinking. For the past two years, I've just been disappointed whenever I kept my hopes up, so I'm going to curtail my expectations, just to not get hurt this time. When is the last Ronin game releasing? This is the most disheartening part of the entire video because we have zero information about the release date, and the info we do have is going to make you severely depressed. According to a senior vice president at Paramount Global, the game is still years away from its release, targeting platforms like PlayStation 5, Xbox Series XS, and PC. And this brings us to the end of this video. If you like this one, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll be catching you guys soon. Have a good one and take care of yourself.
Today's video is finished, guys. If you had fun watching what we did in this video, please show us some love by liking and subscribing. Till next time, 